Hi guys, welcome to another telecast in Excel. My name is Nono. First, I want to say thank you to everyone who subscribed to my channel. I appreciate the comments. I appreciate the feedback. Thank you so, so much. Okay. Now, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, click the subscribe button, hit the bell icon. So you get notified every time I post a video. Now in this video, I'm just going to be showing you how we can reverse text or numbers. Now we are not going to use VBA at all. Now, of course we can do this in the VBA environment. We can um, create some user defined function that can reverse our text or numbers, or we can write a subroutine and then of course a macro to do it. But Hey, we're not going to do any of that. And also we're not going to use a helper column. We're just going to do it with formulas strictly. Okay. So let's get into it. Now we have our simple data here. We have numbers. Okay, um, some are six digits, five digits, four digits, like that. It's just random numbers, basically. But of course, you can apply this to text as well. Okay, now um, Excel has a feature called the flash fill, and it's pretty much like an AI feature. You specify a pattern, and then of course, Excel tries to um, apply what you specify to the other items within your range okay let's see if the flash fill can handle it first before we hop into the formulas okay now what we want to do is to reverse this right so i mean if we reverse all of this it's going to be two nine three okay zero five two all right cool now the shortcut key for the flash fill is Control e so i'm going to press Control e to see oh wow Okay, we can see that the flash fill makes a mess of our data, okay? And uh, we don't exactly get what we want, okay? Because this is five, six. So when you cannot spot any pattern, I mean, it gives you an error. But in this case, the pattern it has spotted is not exactly what we want. So um, I'm going to press Control Z to undo it, okay? Now, we're going to have to use formulas to do it. Now, the first function I'm going to use is one of Excel's dynamic new array functions which is exclusive to office 365 and it's the sequence function okay i'm just going to show us basically how it works okay again now the sequence function basically just helps us um create a sequence either in rows or in columns or rows and columns together what we refer to as an array okay i'm just going to use a very simple example okay of course there are a myriad of things you can do with the sequence function now say for example i want a sequence of one to five okay so my number of rows will be five right now for the columns argument okay the default is one column okay so i don't need to specify anything besides i want my sequence down the rows okay so i can skip that argument and then the start value will be one now we have another argument which is optional because it's in square brackets it's a step now the default value is one so what I expect is a sequence from one to five. That is one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So if I hit enter, that's what I get. Now I press F2 to step back into the formula. I could have done this across the column. Okay. The only thing that will change is I'll skip the rows argument for the column. I'm just going to keep on five because I want one to five and my start value will be one. And then of course we can skip the step and then hit enter. Okay. So we have one to five. All right. So that's how the sequence function works. Um, another um, function we're going to use is the length function. Now the length function basically um, gives us a number of characters within a cell. Okay. Either in a text or numbers or in a string. Yeah. That's what the length function does. So equals to length and I click on this and I close parenthesis. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's going to return six because there are six characters. Okay. Now, if I did length on another text, say this, okay, which is four characters, it's going to return four, okay? So we know how it works, right? And I think we're going to use the meet function too, which is a text function. Now, what the meet function does basically is the meet function extracts characters from a particular string or numbers, okay, in a way such that we can specify where we want to start extracting the characters from and then the number of characters we want to extract, okay? Okay, it's it's, it's pretty simple. Let's do it. Mid, okay, what's our text? Now, let's say this. 
all right cool now say i wanted to extract um 39 so that's the one two three four the fourth character so i'm going to put the start number as four and how many characters is 49 two car um 39 two characters okay so yeah um i can do the mid for hold on a second i can do the mid for this as well say i wanted 792 okay now seven is the third character so i enter three as the argument and since it's a three digit number i put three and then i hit enter okay great so we know how the mid function works okay so we're going to put all this together now so the first thing we're going to do is to use the sequence function okay now because we want our sequence to be in columns we're going to skip the row argument now how many columns do we want now the columns we want is going to correspond to the length of what we have in this cell okay so the length of this now our start value also we want it to also be the length of this right now the reason is because for example what is in b5 has is the length is six okay so i want it to go from six five four three two one okay so that means i'm not going to leave the step argument i'm actually going to impute something in the step argument to do that is i'm going to put minus one so that um, i can have a sequence of six five four three two one okay so if i hit enter that's exactly what i'm going to have fantastic now Within this sequence function, okay, I'm going to, okay, let me press F2 so that we can see it better. Now, within the sequence function, I'm going to use the mid function, okay? Now, we've seen what the mid function does, okay? Our text is what is in B5, so I can just write B5, okay? And then, okay, let me just use the formula bar to do it. Our text is B5. Our start number will be everything that is in the sequence, okay? And our number of characters will be 1. Okay, so what I'm doing, right, in essence is I'm saying I'm trying to extract each character. Well, I'm starting from the last position, which corresponds to the length of whatever text is in the cell. So in this case, because we have 6, so I'm going to extract the 6th character, the 5th character, the 4th character, the 3rd the second and the first depending on the length of um, whatever is in the cell okay so now I'm going to hit enter now if we see our normal numbers are two five zero three nine two now this that we have here is the numbers reversed okay so we have two nine three zero five two which is the reverse of this okay but we're not done now we need to wrap this within another function called the text join okay now the text join basically helps us to concatenate a range and then we can specify whatever delimiter we want in it okay in this case our delimiter will just be a blank so we just specify that it's a blank and then the next argument whether it's true or false it really doesn't um, affect because we don't have like empty cells so well we can just put through okay and put a comma okay and then um we close parenthesis and then we hit enter wow so that's it okay so we've been able to reverse all the numbers and it's dynamic trust me if i go for example i do eight nine zero six seven two okay so we can see now if i also enter text here right it's going to reverse it how cool is that now the only thing is this is now a text okay and you might say oh what if i wanted this to be a number all right no problem all we need to do first let me copy this and you see why in a second okay to convert this to a number right all i'm going to do is to wrap this within the value function the value function takes just one argument and it converts whatever is there to a number if it's not a number it's going to return an error okay so enter so this is now a number and then we can send this down hey wait a second we have an error here no problem all we need to do is to come here and put the if error okay now if this is an error meaning it's a text just simply return the text that's why i copied it close parenthesis hit enter and then we can send this down so as we can see even if we have a text for example sally is going to return it in reverse order okay so 
This is how you can dynamically reverse a text or a number. And if you're in doubt whether this is a real number, let's perform a mathematical operation on this. Okay, let me add like two. And then so you see that it's an actual number, okay? So this is how to reverse text or numbers in Excel with a formula. Now, I know there are other ways that we'll be able to do it. So if you have other ways we can do this, please leave it in the comment section, okay? I'd love to see your feedback. Thank you for watching.